Okay, so on my YouTube channel, I'm going to make another chunk of, of videos that will just be answering questions that I get. And um, So I just got a question from a, a local teacher here that I know pretty well, and, and uh, she had a question about GeoGebra. So I'll, I do use this in my classroom quite a bit, so I'll just show you a few things in it. Um, sometimes it's hard to find that stuff. You know, it takes a long time to find it, so just email me. It, takes me less time to make a video than it probably does you looking for something specific. So what we do in this case is, uh, in this particular case, this uh, teacher would like me to show how to make a circle, a chord, the distance between two points on that chord, and then the distance of the arc, the arc length. Um, so what you do in this case is, um, I'm going to click here on the circle button. Well, that's hyperbola, sorry. This is the circle button. It's um, let's see, six from the right. I'm going to go down to the uh, red triangle so I can get all the options. And I just want this top one, circle with center through two points. So you click, click, and you've got your circle. Okay. Now you can change that circle by either moving A or moving B. Okay. So you want to avoid, you know, B for sure when you're when you're making points on the circle. So I'm going to create with the point tool, I'm going to click on the red arrow. I'm going to create two new points on that's locked on that circle. So there's C. Oop, and I didn't get D on it. So I'm just going to undo quick. It's a lot quicker to do this. Oh, I still missed. My board must be off a little bit. So C and D are locked on that circle. And so if you look, I can move C, I can move D, and they're they're not there. So now let's say I wanted the chord length of that without actually showing the chord. So I just want the straight line distance from C to D. Okay, so that point is um, comes out of this uh, this square here, this tool. It's fifth from the right, and it's distance or length. So you just click on that. And uh, um, if I was at my computer and clicking these using my mouse, it would actually tell you what what to do. So I'm going to click on C and click on D, and it'll just automatically spit out the distance between them. If you want to change your, you know, it's not shown on my screen, but if you want to change your, uh, maybe you want to go five decimal places, you can just go under options um, and change that. that. You can go as many decimal, up to 15, I think. Or maybe you just want to hold numbers. That's typically what I want when I'm doing something with kids, I want whole numbers. So I'll change it so that it has zero, zero decimals. Um, all right, so, so that's that part. Now if you, wanted the, if you wanted to put that chord in there, okay, so we also want, I had a phone call there, so we also want um, a line segment between two points maybe just to show that, R, or that chord, so C and D, there you go. So that chord length is 6.03. And you could always go back to the uh, move button there, and you can, you know, change it. And there's your distance, or you can move D. Or if you want to change your circle, you move B. If you want to change the location of your center, you can move A. Also, off to the left, you know, this is. It also gives you your, oops, equation of your circle. So I'll kind of pull that out so you can see it. So in in kind of a a general form which is nice and so um, so there's your segment length and there's also the distance from C to D so what you can do then if we want the arc length now okay that button also comes from the circle you push the little red arrow there drop down menu and uh, we want the uh, circular arc with center between two points so that one right there so we'll click on the center of our circle first, and then our two arcs, so D and C. And notice it's a little darker, so let me come over here to my computer, hopefully you can still hear me. I'll do a control click on this, or a, you know, if you're on an IBM, probably it's a right click, same deal. I'm going to go to Object Properties. Now I'm sure there's a quicker way to do this, but this is on old school, so change that color so we can see it. Maybe change the style so it's a little thicker, easier to see. And, uh, and you can actually be 
as you change it, it's off the screen, I know, but you can change the change it as you uh, as you do it. It'll show up dynamically. And so there's there's our arc. Well, what's nice is it already gives us that length of 7.93. And so, and you can move that around then. So, oh, that was the wrong button. Cancel. I meant to hit that button. <laughs> and so as you, as you change it, notice it's going 11 point, you know, 13. And so my chord is 2.87 while my my arc link is 23.71. Now if you want that particular, um, that to show up, you're, uh, I'm sure there's, well, let's, let's right click on it. I'm guessing it will, you can have it show it. So I'll do a control click or right click and show label. There we go. Yeah, D, well, it didn't, didn't come up yet. It just showed the D, so we'll get rid of that. So let's just do that. Let's go to properties and see if we got something that, and go to basic, show trace, show label. Oh yeah. So under show label, we'll do name and value. And uh, so now it should appear. There we go. So now the length of the chord is shown and you can just scroll through and it gives you the length of each and also have the name and value for the circle. So if you want to move, you know, if you're, I, you know, I don't know if you're needing to worry about the algebra of, a cir of the circle, but there you change, you know, as you change your, your circle equation changes. And maybe you wanted to move this into a radius of about two. There's a radius of two, which the 4.06. So Hopefully that helps you. Um, there's how you can kind of measure everything on the circle and do some different things. And good luck. And if you have more questions, send them to me. It doesn't take me a whole lot of time to make these videos. So see you next time.